What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction. In this one we have Cornered by Australia's Deadliest Snake. Uh, the Eastern Brown Snake. I know you Aussies are absolutely fearless. So I know this man's about being cornered by the Aussie Snake. Little does that Aussie Snake know he's probably being cornered by this man. Because you guys... You're not scared of anything. Uh, before we dive in, if you happen to enjoy, please don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and let's do this. He's pulling himself in. Yeah, I know, I know. For any normal people out there, you're probably wondering why and how I get myself into these situations. So let's yeah. rewind and find out. <laughs> I received a call for an eastern brown snake that was coiled up in these people's gardens. They did the best thing possible. They saw it the day prior and they thought, let's just leave it. Let's wait for it to move on, which is always the best, best thing to do when you have a snake in your garden, in your yard. If you don't have outdoor pets to worry about, the best thing is to just wait and it'll move on. These guys left this snake for one night. Unfortunately, it was still hanging around the next day, which indicated he probably had a bit of a hidey hole somewhere. Mm. I headed out in search for this snake. So I start off by having a bit of a poke around, seeing if we can find him without destroying too much of the garden. Unfortunately, I can't spot him, and this homeowner just wants the snake gone. She gave me the permission to just rip the hell out of the garden. <laughs> so that's what we proceeded to do. While doing this, I do notice there's quite a few little holes and gaps underneath the concrete oh. of the shelter behind the garden. And little holes, little cracks and crevices under concrete, they're just they're just snake heaven. Red bellies, brown snakes, everything. They get in there, they're nice and tight, they're safe and secure, and nothing can get them. So they absolutely love that type of thing. I'll so after that. pulling everything up for at least half an hour, to no avail, we go for a little bit of a walk around the property just to check it out, see if there's any other good spots for snakes. And as we're walking back, I go to check the garden bed and I didn't even notice that the snake was blended in so well. He was laying on top. He'd just come out of his little hole and oh my God, it scared the absolute living daylights out of me. Oh Lord. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't have the GoPro running, but I quickly whacked him on and we got stuck into trying to catch the snake. So as I went to grab the snake, he ducked straight back into this little hole, which I assumed he, he would have been in under the concrete there. And luckily I grabbed him just quick enough from oh. here, it's a game of who wears out the quickest. Oh, scared the sh- I was, I was like, oh, I'll have another look, see if he's there. But he was basically trying to do exactly what I said, like trying to leave. If it was a red belly, I would have just straight up grabbed it, but like without my hook, but the browns are a bit, a bit more dodgy. Oh, God, they're strong. Come on, buddy, I don't want to hurt you. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, Lord. oh Lord, 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 oh Lord. Nah, he's, he's wild. Get the hook. Get the hook. Oh, yeah, he got corner fast, bro. That Eastern Brown snake said, hey, you blocking, hey, you don't pull me out my hole. You blocking my home. It's me and you. It's mano y mano. One on one. What you gonna do? My guy don't got his hook. Get the, get to the hook. Throw him the hook. He, he need his weapon. Uh, yeah, he's, I'm telling you, he's, he's a lot less, he's a lot more fearless than I am. Because I would have ran for my life. I know, I know. Okay, it turned back, it turned back. It said this isn't a battle I can win. Oh, they're bugging. I need to escape. Oh, 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 turn right back around. Oh my God. That's a good, the good thing about brands, you can get them to strike into the static sometimes. <laughs> Like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they made that job very easy. The brown tonight, you, you did your job for him. And right as he said, right as he said that, that's what's crazy. The thing about brown, you can get him to strike into the bag sometimes. As soon as he says it, strike into the bag. It, man knows his stuff. Cranky boy. Complete different, bloody temperaments to the red bellies. Oh my god. <laughs> oh guys, what a catch. That was, oh, that was the most exhilarating catch crazy. I've had in such a long time. Browns yeah. don't pop up for me all that often, but when they do, oh, that's exciting. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it. I don't know. I've got 5%. I don't know how long this GoPro is going to last. I might have to switch to my phone. As you guys will see, I dug up this entire garden, 
ripped everything apart. I said, look, he might have a nook or a cranny that he's ducked into and we just can't find him. And that's exactly what happened. We went for a walk for about five minutes. I'm like, we've disturbed this place so much. He's not gonna wanna be here. After five minutes, we came back and I just went to check the garden again and he was laid right on top and they just, with their colorations, they blend in so well. And I didn't actually realize he was there until he's gone, Whoo! because I got in his space, he's gone up, he's reared up just to warn me that he's there. And to be honest, it scared the living shit out of me. Uh, it's a bit debacle, but we got there in the end, we caught the snake and we're out here in some beautiful Cumberland Plain habitat, not too far away from the catch site. And we're gonna send him out before the battery runs out. Now this snake was absolutely fired up. So I'm not gonna mess around with him. We're gonna get him out of the bag, let him go on his way. I probably won't even grab him to be honest because I don't wanna hassle him if I don't have to. We'll just send him out on his way and we we'll see if we can follow him for a little bit. Stunning, stunning example of a Eastern Brown snake. Second most venomous snake in the world. Do this That's old crazy. trick, eh? That's just, nah, see, I ain't effing with that, dog. That fearless, once again, absolutely fearless. Like, I love you, Aussies. I love you, Aussies. Uh, my, he, he's so nonchalant about this brown snake. Like, he gets excited about this. There he is, just taking a peek out of the bag. He's watching me. He's like, you leave me alone, you bugger. You're safe. Oh, back into oh. the bag. And he's off. And away he goes, straight into the scrub. No need to hassle him any more than we already have. See if I can hear him. Yeah, I think he's just shot straight back up the hill. Sounds like he's about over there. But, God. Exhilarating, exhilarating catch. Gave I me a heart imagine. attack when I saw yeah. it. Oh my God, jumped straight at me. And yeah, he'd been laying in the sun all morning. So he was charged up, absolutely ready to go. He was firing. As always, we got the job done. Couldn't be any more happier. That's my adrenaline rush for the day. But now I've actually got a blue tongue that was attacked by a dog I've had in care for about a week and a half. Had a few puncture wounds, bit of antibiotics, lost his tail, but he's ready to go home. And after that, I've got to pick up an injured turtle and drop him off the vet. So let's go and have a look at those two animals. That's so awesome, bro. How good he's is such that? a dope Our first person. Eastern brown snake for the season. I absolutely love I absolutely rock with him heavily, bro. Like, uh, the thing, he absolutely loves this. Like, and anyone who, like, loves what they do, I, I respect and admire that so much. That's incredible. And he loves, like, helping these animals. That, often when they come in, dope. it's not all that often that they do. But yeah, now that he's out of the way, we've got our Eastern blue tongue to release. Now this little fella came into care after mm, a dog. Hang on, mm. we're not done with you yet. I know you're ready to. I thought that was a snake for a second, bro. I was like, Jesus, that's thick. We go, that's but we thick. want to have a little look at you first, don't oh. we? So this little fella came into care after a dog attack. So you can see here the punctures Ooh. and the bite marks from where the dog got him. So right across there where my thumb is there and the other side of the jaw is about down here. A couple other little bite wounds. And as usual, he lost his tail, dropped his tail, but that causes no worries for these guys as that's what they're meant to do. But also when this guy came in, he was already missing his little arm here. Oh, it was just dang. a little nub, but that also causes them no worries at all. Like, it's look how he moves back. without it. it. Okay. It's absolutely no drama so for does these it, guys. I've had, so does the arm, I know the tail's probably gonna grow back. Does the arm end up growing back too, or he just, gonna move like, I mean he moves fine but is he just gone for the rest of his life the ones in care with no limbs and they just move around like snakes it doesn't bugger him at oh, all but dang. Yeah, beautiful little eastern blue tongue very fat very healthy and yeah he is more than ready to go this little fella but I only kept this guy for about a week a week and a half just to get some antibiotics into him make sure he didn't get any infection after the dog bite and yeah he is more than ready to go and he's a beautiful little lizard in here buddy you can get down under everything and get away from my ugly head off you go oh you're gonna go above it go under 
<laughs> this guy just wants to be on the move. But we'll let him go. I won't hassle you. See you, buddy. Alrighty, guys. So we are now at the, the amazing the North Richmond Vets. Now, these guys are brilliant with our turtles. They absolutely love them. This video is jumping around like no tomorrow. The main focus is our brown snake, but... May as well show you. I guess yeah. it's like a vlog. May as well show you what else goes on in my day. I appreciate that. So here is our Eastern Long Neck Turtle. So let's have a look at him. Hopefully he doesn't make me make me too smelly. Oh. So here's our Eastern Long Neck Turtle. Don't mind the mess in my car. So from above, he looks completely fine. You wouldn't even know there was any issue with this turtle. But if we have a look... You can see he was obviously clipped oh. by a car. So underneath there, you yeah. can see he's, he's copped a little bit of a crack under his... Sorry, it's hard to do. Pull open his little arm here. You can see there's blood in there. And yeah. the crack basically goes down. He's lost a little bit. I don't even know if you guys are seeing this. He's lost a little bit there and the crack goes... The crack just goes to there. So something that should be fairly easy for the vets to stitch up. They'll drill a hole. Well, they might not even need to with this one. Sometimes they glue, sometimes they wire it back together. But that's going to be up to these guys and what this particular turtle's going to need to repair itself. Let's run him in now, get him the best care possible. Yeah, that's probably it for the day unless something else comes in. But yeah, guys, let's keep saving our wildlife. Let's keep going and I'll see you on the next one. I love that video, bro. That ultimate respect, bro. Uh, shout out. He cares about the animals so much, and I rock with that. Uh, yeah, make sure y'all go check out his channel. Subscribe. I'll put his original link in the description section so y'all can go check out this video on his channel. Um, that's all we have. If you enjoy, please don't forget to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up. Check out the next one. I'll see you next time.